नमस्कार हेलो एंड वेलकम टू पी गुरु चैनल आज यहां हूं श्री आयर ए कन्वर्सेशन विद पलक शाह सीनियर जर्नलिस्ट ही हैज बीन कवरिंग द मार्केट्स स्पेशली द डीड्स एंड मिसडीड्स ऑफ रेगुलेटरी एजेंसी सच एज द सेबी एंड वी हैव सम वेरी डिस्टर्बिंग ऑब्जर्वेशंस ऑन सम ऑफ द ऑर्डर्स दैट हैव बीन पास बाय सेबी विद रिगार्ड टू द नेशनल स्टॉक एक्सचेंज एनएससी व्हिच लीड्स अस टू बिलीव दैट समथिंग बिग इज जस्ट डाउन द रोड whatever it is let's first welcome our guest palaksha palak namaskar jai shri ram how are you thank you shri namaskar jai shri ram all well all well but uh, things are not well the way they are going with sebi mishandling the nse collocation case so that's what we are here to discuss i guess yeah so you you put out a two part series articles in business standard business world sorry and it's been a scathing criticism of the rulings that sebi has come out with talk to us a little bit about sebi's charter sebi's charter is to look out for the rights of the shareholders do you think in your opinion this particular order that has i think they have already given the ruling and who is going to stop it who is going to reverse it and how did things come to this thank you shree for inviting me and as uh, we have been talking on this topic for quite a few years we first spoke on this on your channel when my book was released in november 2020 you know the book is on this entire collocation scam and how all the culprits have gone scot free was the title of the book so you know aptly put i i anticipated sebi uh, sebi's moves in 2020 and wrote in my book how everybody is going or going to go scot free so right from day 1 when sebi started its investigation everything was you know nothing was right they were doing most of the things wrong so i'll tell you what has happened nse's trading systems were abused for years so what does this current verdict of sebi says which came last week in a nutshell the verdict says that nse's trading systems were abused for years yet nobody colluded from the exchange sebi verdict lets down the faith of millions in stock markets by cherry picking of laws in blatant disregard to supreme court's landmark judgments issued for judging the guilty in quasi judicial proceedings sebi the level of proof that is required in cases of fraud in criminal jurisprudence is different from the level of proof which is required in sebi proceedings because sebi is a quasi judicial regulator here the level of proof is preponderance of probability sebi has not applied this test of preponderance of probability as laid down by the supreme court correctly in the nse collocation matter and this is one of the biggest reasons that all the culprits are going scot free so i'll tell you what uh, really has happened this is a sad story of the conclusion the arrival of which portrays stock market regulator sebi's benevolence for the wrong doers and a grave conflict that judiciary and government must take note when the opinion of just one sebi officer who is lacking any judicial knowledge turns a big scandal into nothing in the face of screamingly admitted legal facts and blatant ignorance of guidelines of supreme court regarding the application of laws only a review of such a verdict can restore confidence in institutions logic and law says that if any able cop turns a blind eye and also enables robbery in full public view by relaxing security arrangements he is in connivance with the robbers but in the eyes of sebi if nsc officials like the cop fench ignorance when brokers ran uh, you know when brokers manipulated the exchanges collocation trading system they are not in connivance this is shocking you know in a nutshell can supreme court take cognizance of this suo moto and overturn this ruling or say look you need to review this it's wrong or or some such thing supreme court has amazingly wide jurisdiction over any authority in india they can take suo moto any action they want and they have been doing that you know they take a uh, lot of suo moto cognizance of government actions that has happened so in this matter sebi is a quasi judicial body and the orders passed by sebi set a precedence in future people are going to take this nse verdict and they are going to argue not guilty because sebi in this order says you know they have not put the test of 
preponderance of probability correctly in this order so lot of people are going to take this order as a precedent and argue so i think supreme court not only supreme court even sat can take a tomoto view of this and they can give some directions on it you know we should discuss what has happened and what are the insides of this order what act- actually we mean by preponderance of probability shrink that sebi's own technical action committee had ruled that there was malfeasance that a particular broker got ahead of everybody else and they even calculated the numbers the technical action committee report is there for all to see so which part of guilt is the sebi not accepting so i'll tell you what has happened we have to start with analyzing did sebi cover up for nsc and it is not me justice tarun agarwala the former presiding officer of sac securities and appellate tribunal is saying this and has made scathing observations in his uh, ruling you know what he says before we conclude we must observe that when serious allegations were made against a first level regulator namely nsc sebi should have been proactive and conducted investigations seriously we find that sebi had adopted a slow approach and in fact was placing a protective cover over nsc's alleged misdeeds unquote this is what the sag presiding officer who was judging this case has said what he says further when did sebi wake up to the scam quote it is only when questions were placed on the floor of the parliament that sebi woke up and instituted an investigation the scope of investigation was limited and not made under section 11 which comes to fraud but was conducted by another agency under section 11c in our opinion considering the gravity of alleged charges sebi should have itself conducted an investigation inquiry instead of delegating it to nsc which is a party to fraud it is strange does not stand to reason as to how sebi directed nsc to conduct an investigation against itself it is clear that a casual approach was adopted unquote says sat so this is how sebi is trying to cover up and why is sebi covering up because sebi itself is party to the fraud and sebi itself is conflicted in the first place shri sebi should not have passed any order and there are two reasons for it and i will come to that reason the first reason is because sebi the watchdog never inspected nse's colocation trading systems between 2010 and 15 which it was duty bound to do as a protector of india's retail investors until after the scandal was revealed by a whistle blower in 2015 hence sebi is a party to playing the ignorant cop the conflict second i will come to the cbi which registered the first fir in 2018 has named uh, has said that they are investigating unnamed sebi officials in the scandal so how can sebi pass an order when the organization itself is under investigation there is a grave conflict because if you are party to the fraud you are going to save yourself you are going to try to save yourself and that is what sebi has done in this by passing this order uh, which says that you know nsc officials did not collude whereas the evidence of their collusion is in abundance shri and i can give you several instances where there is so much evidence in the cross function team of sebi that investigated in the deloitte audit report that uh, conducted the investigation there are too many instances you know i wrote an article two piece of articles on this current order and those articles are 7500 words still there are many instances which i have not been able to cover because the word length was extending see so face of so much of evidence which is available on record which is legally admitted position of sat and sebi yet sebi comes to the conclusion which says that you know uh, nsc did not collude so this is just opinion of one sebi officer you know who lacks complete judicial knowledge and hence when there is so much wrong in the face of legally admitted facts then i think the review of such order is necessary well it's what we expect and we hope that either the sat or the supreme court will do the right thing certainly i see that hopes of anyone being caught for what white collar crime are receding whether it is ndtv uh, or uh, you know ndtv there were multiple frauds uh, money laundering among one of them and also the vcpl snafu and, and i mean i can go on countless none of the people have been sent to jail so i don't know what is going on in this government also 
I have already said one one video I did explaining all the stuff that happened over the last few years. Well, we can always hope for the best. That's all I can Actually, say. I want to bring. Um, I want to bring one more yeah. observation yeah. by Sat. One more observation by Sat, which you know, so uh, shows how sinful Sebi has been in this uh, entire case. You know what Sat presiding officer says? "Quote: Two separate orders of same date were passed by." Whole time member of SEBI, one against NSE, uh, including Mr. Ravi Narain and Chitra Ramakrishna, who were the uh, top two bosses of the exchange for the longest of time. And the other order was passed against OPG, which was a trading member uh, in NSE's co location. What does the judge say? We find, quote, we find that there are contradictions in the findings arrived on the same issue for example on the issue of early login the wtm in uh, the whole time member in the order against nse held that early login by trading member opg created an advantage uh, whole time member held that the trading member who logs in first would disseminate uh, the data first at the start of trading day and therefore had an advantage over the other. On the other hand, the whole time member in OPG matter held that early login by OBG, OPG did not give any unfair advantage. Now, in the same issue, you are taking two contradictory views. This anomaly, the judge further says that this anomaly is one such instance and there are more. It is not worthwhile to call out all the contradictions, but it is sufficient to state that the same officer who has passed the order on same date cannot make a different analysis on the same subject issue. This is a grave conflict. And this sad says, so when SEBI in your face conflict, you know, when SEBI is so much conflicted, how is it allowed to pass so many orders in the same matter? This is why I'm saying it is the duty of the Supreme Court to take Suomoto, you know, action on such order and send the matter for review and allow independent judges to relook and pass an order because SEBI is clearly conflicted in the whole matter. It is a party to fraud and it is itself under investigation tree. Thanks for bringing that up. You know, the more I think about it, the more I feel like the NSC has become like a casino where the house always wins. Some people have inside information. They get the question paper a day before. They get top 100% every time. Poor retail investors, they're all thinking that, oh, the stock market is up. I'm going to make money only to be fooled again and again, day in and day out. That's all I can say. Viewers, this is, this is not right. What is going on? Uh, we become the laughing stock in the world market. They say, oh, NSC. People will laugh. You and I, I mean, we can, you know, sometimes the government thinks, what does the average person in uh, Jalpai Guri care, care about what happened to the NSA? Hey, kuch na chalega. These people don't vote on this. But those people who want to invest money in India, they will look at all these things. They're not fools. They need a fair and transparent system. It could be their stock, their company that would get culled out. So anyway, this is just my two cents. Thank you so much, Falak. We have put in hours and hours, in fact, not hours, boy, weeks and months, putting out all the facts of this case. And, and yet it's kind of disheartening to see no tangible <laughs> result come out. Anything that says it's a white and black do you, crime. Do you, want a, do you want to see a small piece of SEBI's uh, admitted position? And yet they are saying there is no collusion of NSC officials. Just a very small piece of NSC's admitted position. SEBI is saying, quote, there is no dispute to the fact that NSE did not have detailed defined policy for the use of co-location facility. It failed. It even failed to monitor the use of secondary servers by trading members without sufficient reason. The defense put forward by NSE about the issuance of welcome email in the form of registration enablement at the time of providing co-location facility to trading members can't be said to justifying its role as the first level regulator. Issuance of guidelines without its monitoring, monitoring showed lack of due diligence. These findings are also contained in the 2023 SAT order with regard to NSC. The whole time member of SEBI says in his September 24 order. And it is it shows clear case of preponderance of probability. I'll give you what is preponderance of probability for the sake of our viewers. Preponderance of probability is a degree of certain belief which conveys to a logical adjudicator that existence of a fact is more probable than its non-existence. The Supreme Court in uh, Kishore Ajmera versus SEBI 
held that in quasi judicial proceedings before sebi the standard of proof is preponderance of probability it is a fundamental principle of law that proof of an alleged uh, charges leveled against a person may be in the form of direct substantive evidence substantive evidence or in case such proof may have to be inferred by a logical process of reasoning from the totality of attending facts and circumstances surrounding the allegations while direct evidence is more certain basis to come to a conclusion yet in the absence of thereof the court cannot be helpless so the court is clearly saying that circumstantial evidence which points towards a meeting of minds conspiracy or fraud is enough to prove guilty sebi in its admitted position says that nsc did not monitor uh, what was happening in the colocation trading systems further there are several instances in the investigation report that points that there was clear knowledge to nsc about the uh, shenanigans that the trading members were doing uh, were playing in their colocation system so here are two things admitted legal position which shows clear probability of meeting of minds and there is evidence and the supreme court says direct evidence is not required in quasi judicial proceedings you can convict people you can bring charges and punish them by just preponderance of probability there is that is circumstantial evidence both these are there and yet sebi is taking a view saying that you know uh, we don't find any evidence so this is the contradiction and this is going to set a extremely extremely bad precedent for sebi in future and hence this order needs to be reviewed sri and the scandal here apart from colocation is legal the scandal here is about the way sebi has twisted this entire scandal into saying nothing happened it is like the crime happened but nobody did it that's what she <laughs> thank you so much and and shruti ji thank you so much for your well wishes the takeaway here is india boasts a lot of things like we have the largest number of startups you know how do the startups cash out by doing ipo but for doing ipo you got to have proper price discovery proper price discovery means what is the stock really worth if you do shenanigans like this and then afterwards you go scot free i mean i tell you one joke huh? day trading one of the heaviest day traded stock is hdfc bank bank mein kya every to day to day badalta hai yaar kuch badalta nahi hai then why do people go gaga and go and do day trading on hdfc bank it is stupid india's stock market is very shallow and the only way it will become broader if it has a fair and free platform i don't see this thing i don't know if somebody sees it please by way of comments tell me that i am wrong and i am very happy to be wrong but i need to know proof that it is fair and this is very very sad guys because you know we we got nothing in return we just want the right things for the people of india that's all we have nothing else anyway thank you so much sir and we'll see soon how things play out thank you sir.